Evgeny Malkin and Metallurg Magnetogor is taking on Vetus, and he gets fancy early, but to no avail. In fact, it's Vetus who gets on the board first. Late in the period, Pavel Chernov wins the faceoff, and Anton Korolev blasts it right in, one nothing Vetus. Korolev with his force of the season. Also, Magnitka's top line was on the ice for this one. Magnitka evens things up just 28 seconds later as Dmitry Kazyanov broke away and landed a nice backhander tie game. With so many stars on Magnitka, it's easy to overlook Kazyanov, but he's been very productive lately. That's his fourth goal in the last three games. Vita shoots itself in the leg in the third. Six minor penalties, a 10-minute misconduct and a game misconduct. Magnitka makes them pay. Here's Viktor Antipin with a power play goal. That's his fifth of the season. A good stat for a rocket defenseman. Metallurg Magnitogors doesn't let up and Evgeny Malkin gets on the board. Four minutes later, 3-1 Metallurg. Sure, it helps to have stars like Malkin, Gotcher, Kulmin, Mazakin and others. But you have to admit that Paul Maurice has done a terrific job with Magnitka's power play. He really got it going for them as Magnitka currently tops the league with a 29.3% success rate. And here they strike again, this time with a two-man advantage, 4-1 Magnitka. With that goal, Mazakin wraps up a three-point night. He's on a five-game point streak. Magnitka wins their fourth in a row and eighth of their last 10, 4-1 final.